morning, everyone. It's Miss Julianne from the Scugog Library, and I'm here for our Wednesday morning preschool story time. So thank you for joining me today. And I'm here with, oh, look at this, with Troy, yes. Troy's all cuddled up this morning. He is really feeling the chill in the air. And I've never done my job in my pajamas before, but I have my pajamas on still. Did you wear your PJs today for story time? Well, I hope so. Well, welcome. And oh, this is Troy's favorite blanket. Oh, he loves to cuddle in this blanket. Keeps him nice and snuggly and warm. Do you guys have a favorite blanket you like to cuddle in? I do too. This one right here on my shoulders. So again, we are gonna to talk today about a big long word. It's called hibernation. Yes. Does anybody out there know what hibernation means? If you do, I'd love to see you put it up in the comments. So I won't go into what I think hibernation means until I see somebody else that maybe wants to share that with us on here. And maybe, do you think Troy might hibernate? I don't know. He sleeps a lot, this cat. I'm not sure about that. But anyway, so thanks for joining us today for our hibernation theme. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to say goodbye to Troy because I think he wants to go sleep on the chair. Oh, his little. So can you say goodbye to the boys and girls, Troy? Oh, say goodbye. All right, here he goes. I better, I better take his blanket off of him though, because it might get, you know. Okay, oh, he's so warm. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, Troy, there he goes. Say bye-bye. See you next week. <laughs> okay, all right. So hibernation. Hibernation means there's certain animals that like to sleep all winter long. And why do they sleep all winter long? Well, here in Canada, where it's really, really cold in the winter, there are certain animals that go into a deep, deep, deep sleep. And they're starting to think about it right now because it's getting cold outside. And the reason they go into a deep, deep, deep sleep, oh, it helps them stay warm for the winter. The other reason they do as well is it's really hard for these certain animals to find food in the forests in the winter time. So this reduces the need for them to go out looking for food. They just sleep away all winter long in their cozy caves or their dens, yes. So that's what hibernation is all about. And there's certain animals that hibernate and one of the ones that hibernate that I know is shh. My story time Teddy. He's all ready to hibernate. Look at this. He's got some leaves in here to keep him snugly warm. He's got his blanket on. He's all ready for the winter hibernation. There we go. All right, sleep tight. So I'll put him back. All right, I'll try not to be too loud for story time today, okay? Okay, so I would like to start with our welcome song. Let's start by clapping our hands. Here we go. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now it's time we're gonna have some fun. First we'll clap our hands like so. Then we're gonna bend, we're gonna touch our toes. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now it's time we're gonna have some fun. Woohoo! Hey, if you're joining me today, put your name up. I'd love to see it. And how about if we do a little train? We do the hibernation train, all right? So get on board. I'm gonna put my glasses on. And if you wanna put your child's name up, that's great, okay? We ready? 
Oh, I see Hugh is here and Wyatt. Yay, here we go. The morning train is coming, how are you? Choo, choo. The morning train is coming, how are you? Choo, choo. The morning train is coming, the morning train is coming. The morning train is coming, how are you? Choo, choo. Here comes Wyatt, how are you? Choo, choo. Here comes Wyatt, how are you? Choo, choo. Here comes Wyatt, here comes Wyatt. Here comes Wyatt, how are you? Choo, choo. Here comes Hugh, how are you? Choo, choo. Here comes Hugh, how are you? Choo, choo. Here comes Hugh, here comes Hugh. Here comes Hugh, how are you? Choo, choo. Here comes Millie, how are you? Choo, choo. Here comes Millie, how are you? Choo, choo. Here comes Millie, here comes Millie. Here comes Millie, how are you? Choo, choo. Well, if I missed anyone, let me know and we'll bring you on board, okay? So we are gonna get started with our hibernation theme, okay? Ooh, it's getting cold out. Does anybody notice the snow today? Did it snow today? I think it did. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to get, and it snowed yesterday like crazy here. So we are going to get my snowflakes here, okay? And we're gonna do a little song about snowflakes falling in the air, because this is a sign that it's time to go hibernate, all right? So here we go. So, one little, two little, three snowflakes are falling. Four, woo! Four little, five little, count with me, six snowflakes are falling. Seven little, oh, what's after seven? Seven little, eight little, nine snowflakes are falling. Oh, woo! Ten little snowflakes are falling to the ground. Yay! So what do you like to do in the snow? Oh, I bet you like to make snowman, right? I bet you do. So, anything else you like to do in the snow, let me know. Put it in the comments, okay? So we're gonna do another little song, and it goes like this. Snowflakes are falling, snowflakes are falling. Use your fingers for this, for the snowflakes, okay? In the air, in the air. <gasps> Winter time is coming. Winter time is coming to our town, to our town. And you know what that means? Woo! Christmas is on its way! Yay! Okay, so we're gonna do another little song before we read our story, okay? And it's about five little bears, okay? So let's see, put up five fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. So now keep one little up like this. Here we go. One little bear, he's wondering what to do. Oh, along came another, now there are two. Two little bears, they're climbing up a tree. Along came another, now there are one, two, three. Three little bears ate an apple core. Along came another, now there are one, two, three, four. Four little bears found honey in a hive. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. Along came another. Now there are, right, five. Perfect. <laughs> hey, Wyatt likes to make snowman and <gasps> snowballs. Oh, that sounds like great fun, Wyatt. Ooh, I can't wait to be doing that. All right, and I think we've got Gloria has joined us and Faith too. Good morning, girls. Thanks for joining in. Okay. So now I am going to get right to our book this morning, okay? So this book right here, it's called Leaves. And can you see that bear on there? And can you see the leaves are falling off the tree? Do you have any leaves on the trees where you live right now? I'm looking out my window and I can only see a couple of leaves left on the trees. So here we go, so it's called Leaves and it's written by David Stein, okay? So if you're ready for story time, clap your hands. 
If you're ready for story time, clap your hands. If you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, clap your hands. If you're ready for story time, ooh, let's rub your bellies. If you're ready for story time, let's rub your bellies. Well, if you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, let's rub your bellies. Now, if you're ready for story time, we're gonna sit real still and we're going to freeze like you're frozen. If you're ready for story time, let's sit real still and freeze like you're frozen. If you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, we're gonna sit real still and freeze like you're frozen. Right. Yay. Let's get on with our story. Let's see what's going to happen with this bear and the leaves coming off the trees today. Okay, here we go. Leaves. So I will put this up to the screen so you can see the pictures. All right. And here we go. I will get it right here. Oh, look at this. There's a little bear checking out the leaves falling off the tree. Here we go. So it was his first year. So this little bear, he's just a yearling. So he must wonder what's going on, eh? <gasps> Until, look at this. Until the first leaf fell. Oh, oh, are, are you okay? He wondered. Oh, he's concerned about that leaf coming off the tree there. Then, <gasps> a red one fell. Look at that. And a yellow one fell. All over his island, the leaves were falling to the ground. Well, he tried to catch them and put them back on. Oh, but it wasn't quite the same. Wow, that tree's got hardly any leaves left on it. Well, he sat beneath a tree. Oh, and he watched them go all around and around and around. Oh, but he grew so sleepy. <gasps> Can anybody yawn? <gasps> oh. And so, oh, look at this. He found a hole. <gasps> wow. And he filled it with, <gasps> what is he putting in there? Leaves. And look at this. He went to sleep just as the wind began to blow. <gasps> I can almost hear him snoring in there. And look at this, what happened here? Winter came. <gasps> look at that little fox there, boys and girls. I guess the fox is not sleeping for the winter. And look at the snow coming down. Well, look at this. Look at that cave. He slept snug in the ground in the cave while the snow piled up thick and thick. Can you see those birds there? Yes. And let's see what's gonna happen here. Oh, and look at, it became springtime because after winter becomes spring. Oh boy, with wide eyes, oh, he woke up. Oh. oh, he felt the sun. Look at that. And he saw the little buds on the bare arms of the trees. Look at that. He's discovering that. And the tiny leaves, they began to unfold. And he said, welcome, welcome. 
him, he cried. There it is. And he thought that the leaves welcomed him too. The end. Do you think that bear's hungry? I think so. After sleeping all winter long, I would think he must be pretty darn hungry. So that's exactly what happens with these animals that hibernate. This is the time of the year that they find a very cozy spot and they, some of them fill it with some food just in case they wake up <gasps> and they have a little snack there. So that is exactly what happens to these animals when they hibernate. So that is terrific. So we're gonna do a little song and I'd like you to pretend that you are, oh, you're bears, okay? Pretend you're sleeping and you're gonna be in your caves, okay? So ready, are you sleeping? It's like my little bear is here, here we go. Bear is sleeping, bear is sleeping in his cave, in his cave. I wonder when he'll wake up. I wonder when he'll wake up. Sleepy bear, sleepy bears. <gasps> it's time to wake up, time to wake up. Sleepy bears, sleepy bears. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Sleepy bears, sleepy bears. Now it's springtime, now it's springtime. Sleepy bears, sleepy bears. Let's give a stretch. Okay, little bear, stretch. Oh, that feels so good after sleeping all winter long. Let's give a stretch. Oh, sleepy bears, sleepy bears. Yay! That's great, boys and girls. So. Let's do a craft, all right? So we're gonna do our craft today, and um, I'm gonna show you how to do it, uh, but I'm not actually gonna do the cutout part because it's. I'm gonna let you do that after story time, okay? Because it might take a little bit longer, but we are going to put a little bear to bed today, okay? I'm gonna show you what it looks like. There we go. So I have a teddy bear right here that I cut out and we have, there's the back of them, just like that. And my teddy bear has two dark eyes and a nose and a little mouth. But he also has his little sleeping buddy with him, his little snuggly with him. He's gonna go to sleep for the winter but he's gonna make sure he's got something to cuddle with. And then we're gonna put a beautiful blanket onto a hop up bar. Bear. Well this, do you think bears like strawberries? <laughs> well this little bear loves strawberries, so he has a strawberry blanket on, which really is just a napkin, okay? So, but what you could do is if you just have a Kleenex or a paper towel, you could put stickers all over his blanket for him, okay? So, this is really all, as I said, all you really need is, right, you just cut out a bear, and you can either draw on the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, and then you can cut out another little tiny bear. This, cut, you know, you just cut out whatever shape you want. And then this bear kind of looks funny, but that's all right. Then you put that right in with them, snuggle in, and then, oh, there goes the blanket right on top of him, okay? So you think you can do that craft today, boys and girls, after story time? I think you can. I'd love to see your pictures, okay, after. All right, so I'm gonna put that one right back here like that. I'll put it back on the floor. And I'd like to do a couple of more songs with you, all right? So the first song is we're gonna get up and move because we've been sleeping all winter. So are we ready? Can you stand up, boys and girls? Okay, here we go. Put your hands up high and you're going to get ready. Jump up to the sky, jump up, jump up. Put your hands down low and touch your toes. 
Now we're gonna get these. These are your elbows. Here we go. Put your elbows to your front. Put your elbows to your back. Put your hands to your sides and say, quack, quack, quack. <gasps> quack, quack, quack. Excuse me, Mother Duck is right here and she's saying, well, what about me? I'd like to do <gasps> the duck song. Okay, well, Mother Duck is right here. And how many baby ducks do we sing about, boys and girls? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five. So, of course, I have so many ducks right here. I have all the ducks in here. So, well, you just use your fingers if you don't have your ducks there, okay? So here we go. Five little ducks, one out one day, over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 but only, <gasps> right, four little ducks came back. Well, four little ducks, one out one day, over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 but only, right, three little ducks came back. Well, three little ducks, one out one day, over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only two little ducks came back. Well, two little ducks, one out one day, over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only one little duck came back. One little duck, one out one day, over the hills and far away mother duck said quack 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 oh no and none of her ducks came back oh mama duck oh well sad mother duck one out one day over the hills and far away oh sad mother duck said <laughs> quack 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 and guess what Boys and girls, yep, all of her five little ducks came back. Hooray! All right. Mwah! They're all back safe and sound with their mama, all right? So I'm going to put Mama Duck right back there with her ducks. I'm going to check my time. Oh, we still have some more time. That is awesome. So we're going to do another little song, and it goes like this. We're going to wiggle up our ten fingers, all right? Well, first of all, let's close them, and then we're going to open up one at a time and give them a count, okay? Ready? Here we go. One little, two little, three little fingers. Four little, five little, six little fingers. Seven little, eight little, nine little fingers. Ten little fingers on my hands. So we're gonna wiggle them up for the itsy bitsy spider, okay? Do spiders hibernate, I wonder? Hmm, well here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider right out. And out came the sun and it dried up all the rain. And that itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yay! That is terrific. Hey, talking about other animals that, that hibernate, do you know that skunks hibernate? Mm-hmm. Phew. And groundhogs, yes, they hibernate as well. And snakes, ooh, and frogs. And what else hibernates? Hmm, ladybugs. Oh, there's all kinds. Oh, snails do too, actually. Yes. So, boys and girls, we are going to finish up with our sleeping bunny song. We already were sleeping bears, right? So let's be sleeping bunnies now, okay? So we ready? Find a cozy spot. Ooh, I'm still in my pajamas, so I'm certainly cozy. 
don't know if I'm even gonna get out of my pajamas today. So we are going to be sleeping bunnies. Okay, here we go. Look at all the sleeping bunnies. They're lying oh so still. Look at all the sleeping bunnies. They're lying oh so still. Oh so still. Wow, are the bunnies ill? Ready to wake up? Here we go. Oh, wake up sleeping bunnies. Hop. Hopping, hopping, wake up sleeping bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Wake up sleeping bunnies, you're hopping, hopping. Wake up sleeping bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Yay! Well, there you go. I just wanted to slide over here for a minute because we have, whoa, in the library, some great books about hibernating, okay? So, uh, this one is really good. It's called Hibernation Station, and this is a great book, okay? And the illustrations or the drawings in this book, well, I just love them. So these are, you could come in or you could go online and order these books and then you could pick them up in the library, right? And this is another one too I really like. It's called Time to Sleep. Oh, look at that bear. Yes, and so, I hope you can come in and get some, oh, or even Christmas books, right? Oh boy, we've got lots of them in the library. So I wanna thank you for joining me today for our hibernation theme. Now you all know what hibernation means, right? Sleeping for the winter, certain animals do. All right, have a great day, and we will see you all here next week, same time, same place at Miss Julianne's house. All right, and Troy will be here too. Take care.